For picking up the response, I'm going to put the electrodes, one on his forehead, one on, we are going to test your right eye as your test eye. So one on the side of the outer phonics over here, which is going to be the reference. And he will have a active, which is a DTL fiber. This electrode right now is the ground. The ground electrode. High forehead. And the reference is on the outer candai over here. Okay. So in line with your eyes over here. Just going to place this one over here. Okay. okay. And I'm asking you to open your eyes and look up to the ceiling. I'm going to pull the lower eyelid down. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. one we do both actually with both eyes yeah you don't need to cover one eye we do both eyes since he's not tested the left eye that's why the channel is like that so you can see the signal in coming in the right channel because um. that's the one we are doing you can see his eyes so this is a flicker light ready Ras? Mm -hmm. yeah So ready? Yeah. Let's just look straight ahead. Nice and relaxed at the center. The patient will be asked to focus at the center where those yeah. lines cross each other. That's where the patient have to focus. They can blink as normal, but not continuous blinking. The scalar product is used to determine the response of the MFERG. Scalar product is obtained by multiplying the corresponding template waveform points with the recorded waveform and adding the multiplication result to obtain a single result. These values are then divided by the hexagonal area to acquire the tomographic plot.